Hey guys, welcome, welcome. I know I'm a little late. And sorry if you're gonna hear commotion. Hey, put that down. And take that out your mouth. How many times have I told you to get your headphones on me? Sorry guys. Not that low now. You can lower it down, but you don't have to lower it down that low. All right, that's good right there. Cause you got your help. You got my headphones on yet? And take my headphones off your ears. I mean your. Oh, sorry, the mouth. He likes to do that. I don't want that. Who's in there? Oh. <laughs> What is she supposed to be doing? Playing the ring character? The ring? No. Please keep the wire of the headphones off your mouth. Next time, I'm going to take them away. You didn't pay for them. Sorry, guys. Hey, guys. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Pickers. Hi, Jen. How you doing? So, I did go to Dollar Tree. And so... I decided I'm just gonna do it live because I didn't get a lot of stuff. I got a little bit of stuff. So, hey, Anna. So, I'm gonna just kind of open it up here, you know, conversate and stuff. Yeah, my son, you guys that are new here, um, he sometimes be putting the wire for the headphones in his mouth and he don't realize by chewing that he can actually mess up my headphones. And if you know Skull Candy, Skull Candy is almost expensive, like um, like the Beats. They have similar prices, so I don't want to messing it up. Plus, he did mess up my wire a while ago, and I had to wait for a a new one through the mail. Luckily, I had warranty with it. So, um, somebody said something. Hey Jay, how you doing? So right now, he's watching Boo Two. Have anybody seen that movie, Boo 2, with um, Medita? I know I pronounced it wrong, but I love me some, what's his name? I forgot his name. I forgot the actor's name, and I I, I love watching his, his movies. His movies are so funny. And then he has some good movies that makes you kind of like, cry and laugh and, and get mad at the characters i love love his movie tyler tyler what per tyler perry or something like that so yeah um i'm trying to pull up chat over here because it's gonna be really hard to keep up and chat on the phone because if most of you know lives are a little difficult but manageable um so yeah, I went today to Dollar Tree, so I only got one bag, as you can tell. Um, my son bought a couple of junk stuff, random stuff, you know, like um, Sour Patch Kids, um, cheese nips, stuff that you normally can get from the store, and he got it for like a dollar, but like big boxes and stuff. So there's only one item here that I don't think I've seen anyone haul yet. So that's why I was like, let me just do it. It's only one bag. It's not a lot of stuff. Um, and I didn't buy a lot of stuff for Valentine neither. So I don't know. Do you guys celebrate Valentine? I mean, after 15 years, I don't know. Like, what do you do to, you know, for Valentine? Oh, I was looking for it because I missed you last night. You went on, I don't know, really late, like I think 9, 9.30. I was already in bed. I was like, I was crashed out. That's why I don't do late lives on any other day, but Friday, maybe Saturday, you know, knowing that the next day I'm going to be able to like sleep it off. But I got up the next day, like today, and I was like, oh, I missed another live. And then I heard what you were going to say, but then I was like, I kept looking and looking, but everybody else that I follow was going live, Jen. Like um, Joanne Plans and Crystal the Bookworm, but well, that's what she used to go by, and some other people that I follow. But I was like waiting for you to go live so I could talk and stuff, but hey, it happens, you know? But around 9, 9.30, I tend to get really tired, and I just want to like call it a night and just go to sleep. So 
I have a couple of you guys here. Um, so I'm going to go in my Dollar Tree bag. And I'm going to pull out this right here because it's pretty dark. It's sticking out. I don't know if you guys seen this at Dollar Tree. Um, it's a planner, a weekly planner. But you use a dry eraser. And it is magnetic. So you can stick it to your fridge and then just kind of write in the dates. Um, I decided to buy this because my mom has a calendar and sometimes she don't like nobody touching it. So I was like, you know what? This would be perfect to keep in track of trips, appointments, which I have a whole bunch in this month. Because if most of you know, I suffer from asthma and I went to see my doctor and she did a lot of blood work. Crazy, yeah. And they found out that my blood platelets, platelets or something like that is very low. Not, you know, unsafe low, but it's kind of low and it's a little concerning for them. So now I got to do a whole bunch of different tests to see what's going on. Um, what else? My vitamin D is kind of low as well. So I, I don't know. I got a whole bunch of problems. Because of my asthma, a lot of things are surfacing. So... Yeah, I'm going to be a busy lady this month, so I need a calendar to keep in track of all the dates and everything. And if I'm not mistaken, Jen, I think the kids have like six days off for school because they have Chinese New Year off, which is the 16th, and then they have the mid-weekend off. So I want to make sure that I can keep that in track. And along with this, I did buy the marker and the eraser to it. So I'm ready. I'm going to put that on the fridge. I think I got it in here. Let me see. Yeah. So I got my dry eraser. So I can erase it and reuse it again. And I also bought the um, Pro Max dry erasers. So if you need dry erasers, they do sell even permanent ones too. So... And for a dollar, you can't beat it because if you go to Rite Aid, which, like I said, I love my Rite Aid, this would cost a little more expensive, maybe two, three bucks. So for a dollar, it's not bad. And it comes with different colors, red, blue, and black, which is not bad. Um, and it, it's like a point. It says washable, so that means I think if it gets on your hands, but I don't know about clothes. Um, bright colors, quick dry, dual fiber tip. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so it might permanently stain clothes and materials, but I think you can wash it off your hands. That's what it is. Um, <laughs> um, Did I start? Okay, wait up. I can't see what just happened there. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's the first time that I go because, you know, every week or so I go and they always have something different. Now, what I have on my wish list, because a fellow YouTuber showed it, she showed these small little um, Buddhas. But it's not the Chinese Buddha, it's the Indian Buddha, the female version of the Buddha. I think that's what it is. Because I got one in the bathroom, which is a little bigger. But she so she showed two cute ones that she bought from Dollar Tree. So I've been trying to look for that. Um, and also the little trash cans. The little small cute little trash can containers. I've been trying to look for that. And sorry for my messy hair. I didn't really did much today. So my hair is like whatever. Um, I also got some more washi tapes or, you know, the things that I use for my planner because a lot of my viewers are like, what do you use your washi tape for? And I use it for my planner. I do have a video and pictures on my Instagram of me doing it. I didn't do January's, so I don't know if I'm going to do it later on and kind of fix it and stuff like that. So, yeah. So let me show you the washi tapes that I got. Um, I got this one right here. I don't know if you guys can see the color. It's purple and yellow. So I really liked it there. I mean, they had a few more, but I had most of them. And then most of them I wasn't really interested to put in my book. 
So, and they have more. I just didn't take pictures. You know, I didn't feel comfortable recording myself. Um, and then this one right here would be nice for like the fall. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has leaves. And I like the colors. It's very fall like looking. I know fall is already gone, but it's always good to have it for next year or when you need it. And then this last one here, I thought this was really, really cute too, this pattern. So that was really nice. Um, what happened? Okay. So let's see. I also got some Valentine heart. Like I said, I didn't get a lot of stuff for Valentine because I don't know. Valentine is just to me another day because if you love your partner, you do it every other day. You do it every day. Let's say like that. Um, so I got these kind of hearts. It has like sayings on them. Um, they remind me of the candies, the sweet tart candies that they have the sayings on them. So I'm not sure what I'm going to use this yet for. Maybe a project, maybe put it in my calendar. I don't know. It says, best friend, cool, be mine, XOXO. Like the same things that you see on the candies. That's what is on here. And then this one says, sweetheart. So, I don't know. I was, I was trying to look for the glitter one because 45 and Fab pulled the pink and red hearts that were glittery. And I didn't find it at this Dollar Tree store that I go to. Um, I also bought this. This is really, really cute. I don't know if you guys can see it. I know there's a glare. It says love, 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 love. And then the hearts. I really liked it, that. I like the, the glitter of it. Even though I'm not like a pink and red girl, but I just... I just like how cute it looks. So I just picked this up. Because they have repeat stickers from last year. Most of the stickers that they have there, I already had from last year. So I was like, I don't need to pick them up. I'm not you know, going to do that. And then the stuff also that they had from St. Patrick Day, I have most of the stuff. You know, most of the things that they had from last year. It's like a repeat to me. So... Moving along, I needed toothpaste. So far, this toothpaste is good. And at my local Rite Aid store, again, this will cost me three bucks and change. So for a dollar, you know, I got two of them. And it doesn't taste bad. It's good. My men don't complain. So why not, right? Toothpaste, toothpaste. Um, oh, and I found another um, brain teaser. I've been collecting these for a while. Um, my son opened up the other one. Did you do it or did you break it? Hey, what happened to the other puzzle? You broke it and they didn't do it again? What? The puzzle. That was me. No, we bought another one and he opened it. A different one. Different than yours. You need to fix your it's puzzle. It's the window. So, it's at the window. Yeah, so I've been collecting these since I saw the chain links. They had a chain link one. They can do that one. They can take it apart and then put it back in. You oh, better not show they yourself. Broke it. Yeah, no. And then well, they don't fix breaking it. Breaking everything. Yeah. So there's another puzzle that we had, but I'm not sure like how it goes because they took it apart. Nathan. So now we gotta figure it out. I might have to go back to the store and kind of take pictures of it, and then see if we can remember how to like put these brain teaser things back but yeah we have that one and one that he he kind of dissembled or whatever the case and then this one this is the newest one sorry if i'm having bad connection i don't even know why but yeah i also picked up a movie i thought my kids would like this right here it's the how little harry became the great houdini so I don't know. To me, it looked very anime looking, and my young, um, my oldest likes like anime stuff. So maybe he might like it, Nathan. Grab it and read it. In the back, there's something in the back. So I just picked that up. I really like too much um, of the other movies that they had because they have like a small section in this little small dollar tree that I go to. But now this is where I scored. Luckily, if I haven't forgotten my purse or my little wallet, I would never have found this. I would have just walked out of Dollar Tree and never seen this. 
So as I was waiting for my hubby to bring me my little wallet, which I forgot this morning I went um, grocery shopping. And so I have this bad habit that, you know, I go from store to store. And instead of putting back my little wallet back in my book bag, I put it in one of my um, shopping bags. And I totally, like, totally forgot that it was there. I left, picked up my son. And once I got to Dollar Tree, just as I got to the cash register, I was like, oh, my God, I don't got my wallet. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I don't have my wallet. So I had to call my hubby, and my hubby had to bring me my wallet. So luckily that happened because I found some. This is called Coloring Clear Stamps. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to use this, but if you know Dollar Tree, I don't know, carry too many of these types of stamps. But I found a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think eight. And I really looked to see if they had like different ones. And it's these types of things here. These are color clear stamps. So I don't know. I've been watching Dollar Tree hauls for a while, trying to see what's new out there. So I'm going to show you each one. Um, some of them are have more stuff and some of them don't so I'm gonna go from the most um, least stamp to the most stamps so here we go so this one here I don't know if you guys can see it because I know there's a glare um, it has this nice scenery and then it has like flowers and it says life life with you is good so I'm gonna open one to kind of see what it looks like because I've never seen these, but I've seen the other ones, and I did haul those, and I do have the stamp pad, but if I have to, <laughs> a wish list item, yeah, I'm going to open it, and yeah, so the front, it just shows you a nice thing, but in the back, it's the actual, like, stamp, so I don't want to pull it out, but it's, like, kind of weird, and I like how soft it feels. And I do have like the square piece, but I got I'm gonna have to purchase a bigger one for this because I only have the the, the size that they sell at Dollar Tree, so they could use their stamps on it. So and it feels nice. So it gives you an idea how to paint them in. So it's really cute, and I see it. I really do. I'm gonna try them out and see what they look like. Maybe I'll try to take some pictures once I've stamped them. Because I do have ink pads. Thanks to Dollar Tree, I winded up buying a few stamps earlier, but not like these. So this is the first one. That has seven. And then the next one is this one right here. I hope you guys can see it. And the saying is, I'm so grateful with heartfelt thanks. So really nice very springy I know Dollar Tree is bringing spring stuff back too because I watch um pretty and flawed and she holds a nice like spring stuff like the the, the garden stuff so yeah um that's this one and then this one is a seven piece oh and this is by Hampton art I don't know if you guys can see the company name so it's by Hampton art I'm not sure how much more this would be at like a regular craft store so I'll find out, or maybe you guys can find out as well. Um, this one is also a seven piece. The next one is this one right here. And this one is much bigger than this picture here. If you can tell, the size is much bigger. And then um, it says, you are amazing. You are amazing. So kind. And it has beautiful and blooming marvelousness. So really nice. I like that. That's cute right there. That's cute. Again, don't mind my kid. Um, he's watch. Like I said, he's watching Boo Two just in case people are coming in and out. Um, the next one is this one. Oh, and that one is an eleven piece. So on the corner, it tells you exactly how many pieces are in here. This one only says "Happy Birthday," which is really good because you know you can do birthday cards and stuff like that. And then the sceneries. Sceneries are really nice. So if you're into stamping, then yeah, these will be cute. The next one is also a 12 piece. 
and I really like that. It's very spring-like. That's the crazy thing. Um, it says, wish you were here. Good day, sunshine. You make me smile. So, and the good thing is you can actually, like, mix and match all the sayings and stuff like that. So, yeah. If you're very crafty, you can come up with something. And then this one is a 15-piece stamp set. It has uh, good times, love ya, thinking of you, for you, with much love, just a little note to say, you know, and then you can fill out the rest. So, and then it has cute little small ones. So, really nice. Um, next one. As most of you know, I love butterflies, so I had to, had to pick this up. I love, love butterflies. And I think you can see what it says there. It says, be you eat full. It's supposed to be beautiful, but it says, be you too full. Like that saying, right? And then it's, it's also dream next to it. It has live, love, live, laugh, love. Now, if you guys catch my last Dollar Tree haul, I don't know if you guys remember that I hauled some cute little flowers and the only ones that I found was live and laugh. I didn't find love. So I was in the hunt for the third one in that thing. I don't know what it looks like. I've never seen anyone haul these little flower things. And I think I uploaded last Saturday. Yeah, last Saturday I uploaded it. And this is also a 15 piece. So it's really cute. And then the last one, I didn't realize this is a 20 piece. That's what it says on the corner. It says 20 piece. And this one says, again, thinking of you with love. Have a great day and best wishes. So, and then it has cute little emojis right here. All these cute little ones right there. And then the seams. So, and the cute things with this right here, I think if you get a nice piece of paper and you print it out, you can have your kids color it in the way they want to. You generally don't have to color it in. You can have like different stamps and just let them color it in the way they want to. They can make a friend's card, a birthday card, anything that comes up to your mind. These was like the number one item for me, very new in my local Dollar Tree store. So like I said, this was a small Dollar Tree haul. I didn't really purchased too much. Oh, and I bought like two bags of, um, I know it's going to sound funny, but cheese doodles, which I really, really like to eat, you know, when I'm watching a movie or something like that. And yeah. Hey, babe, how you doing? So how's everybody doing tonight? It's Friday. How was your week? Um, what you guys plan for this weekend? Me, I'm staying home because the weather is dropping here in NYC. It's literally cold. Like when it's nice, it's nice, but when it's cold, it's cold. And my butt don't want to be outside. The wind chill makes it feel even colder out here. So, yeah, I'll probably just stay home tomorrow, clean up. I don't know what else, but yeah. It's been a quiet week this week, and, you know, I did a couple of lives, which I'm happy. You know, even though I didn't upload, I still, how you say, filled it in with lives. So at least I have something for the week. Um, yeah, we're good. We're good. Um, Monkey's sitting over there watching BooTube. So by um, this guy, uh, Tala Perry, Perry, whatever his last name is. <laughs> um, real suckling or the fake ones? Because I don't think they sell real ones, right? They sell those little <laughs> fake ones. I bought two different ones one time back. I think it was back in October, November. So, yeah. I have one with um, a black little box and then the other one has a white one. I mean, they look cute. They really do, but if that's the one, yeah, I have two fake ones. I can only find two fake ones because, like, all the, you, the YouTubers that do Dollar Tree haul, once they mention something, it's like once you go to the store, 
it's like super sold out. Like you can never find anything. And then the Dollar Tree that I go here, um, and it's not like how you say the merchandise is half the time on the floor or in a different aisle. So it's like hunting for treasure in this Dollar Tree store that I go to. But I have two other ones that I really enjoy going because their merch is perfectly on the shelf. Um, they don't have merchandise in the aisles and stuff like that. And it's just, I don't know, it's two big ones that I have out here. So this little one that I have here, psh, I really don't like it. So, oh, I didn't see those. I have not seen those. See, I always finding new things that I, I if I want them, then I'll put them on my wish list. I just don't go all the time for everything. I just go for, like, if something really catches my eyes, I'm like, ooh. So. Oh, okay. It's okay, Jen. It's fine. And there goes Monkey. Come on. You're going to shake the camera. Whoa. And you thought you had a, a messy, a crazy, you know, all over the place, son. God. Yes, I'm talking about you. Don't give me that look. You heard me. <laughs> I don't know where the other one disappeared to. So I think that was a big hit for me. Like I said, I think God did that because I was like not finding anything. And I get really like, how you say, like, I don't know. I feel really out of it when I can't find something, especially when I know it's at the Dollar Tree. Um, but... This was the big hit, the cut, the coloring, um, clear stamp. Oh, coloring clear stamp. Duh. I just got it. Sorry. I don't know. Lately, the last few weeks, my memory, like I said, has been like really bad. Um, I just don't know what's going on. I eat every day. I get headaches. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens when the doctor does what they're supposed to do. I got like four different appointments through this whole month. I got to go see back my doctor. I got to see a specialist twice. It's just, I'm all over the place in February. So, who is in my chat right now? So we have Anna, Bay, and Jan. So I'm going to try to put this away because I don't want to lose anything from my Dollar Tree stuff. So I'm going to recap real quickly just in case because Bay did just come in. So I got this right here, guys. Bay. I got the another brain teaser. I've been collecting this since I've been seeing them. I got these stickers right here because... You know I like um, decorating my planner. So I'm recapping for you, Bay. Um, what else? I also got these cute little hearts. They look like the sweet tarts that you eat. I don't know if you guys eat it, but I know I like them. And they have the sayings on them. So really cute. What did Bay say? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Um, the dry eraser, you're going to see why I need it, and the markers. Um, I also found some cute ones like this, just to recap. Yeah. Oops, sorry, it's a little glare there. Um, and then this one. I thought this was really cute because it has purple and yellow. And it's more like, well, I don't know. Why is it looking purple there? It's funny, it's looking purple, but... I'm seeing yellow, uh, yellow and pink. It's kind of odd. Because I'm looking at the camera and it's looking purple, but it's not. It's actually pink. But it's still cute. It's a cute thing for my April calendar. So, And I also picked up one of these. So I can put it on my um, refrigerator. Because with all, like I said, all the appointments that I had. And my memory is just not, I don't know. It's not what it used to. Also, I picked up some more tube, um, toothpaste really like this it's not bad it doesn't taste bad it's really oh it did it does look like pink to you but i don't know on my camera it's picking up like a purple like a really powdery purple so 
Maybe it's just me. And then the last thing that I picked up was these right here. These are Color Me um, stamps. So when you stamp them, you can just color them in. And I have a total of eight different ones that I found. And they range from 20 pieces all the way to seven pieces. So, yeah. I'll probably take pictures and put them on my Instagram. So I can show my friends that are Instagram um, Dollar Tree holders. I can show them those stamps. Because I know I have some people that like the stamps. So, yeah. So it was a really, really small little thing. Um, I probably don't know yet when I'm going to go to the other big one. Because I haven't visited that one in over a month. So, yeah. Wish me luck that I can find some new stuff. Oh, excuse me. I finished eating like about an hour ago. So right now, like, all the burps are coming through. So... Yeah, right, Jen? It is so cold outside. It's no joke out here in New York. Honestly, it is no junk. You're welcome, babe. Um, so, what else? We've been here for a half an hour, and I got through that through a half an hour. Now, if I would have recorded it, it would probably have took me a little longer. It's just crazy. So... So Jen, what was about that um that video? Um you titled it um A Nightmare at McDonald's. Um most McDonald's are like that. Honestly, most McDonald's in the Bronx, because if they are close to like a school, they are always filled up with teenagers that do not have manners. Honestly, if my kids were to do something like that, I wouldn't even know where to put my face because I don't tolerate that. I know you want to have fun with your friends and everything, but do you really need to be that extremely loud? I mean, where's the respect for other people that are eating in the restaurant or, you know, the fast food restaurant? You know what I'm saying? You can still have a conversation, but they were really super loud. You can hear it. You know what I'm saying? It was just crazy. And then the way you ate that quarter pounder with cheese, that was gone in less than like seven minutes. <laughs> I can't even eat that fast. I cannot. Not unless I'm hungry, hungry, maybe. But even then, I don't think I can eat that fast. You ate that quarter pounder with cheese really fast. And I used to love eating that. Like that was one of my burgers that I used to eat at McDonald's. But then I noticed that. It wouldn't agree with my stomach, if you understand what I'm saying. It wouldn't agree. So I was like, mm, no, I don't, you know. No, you kidding me, Jen. And I'm like, that's crazy. And then you have your two babies there. I mean, I understand you, you're going to teach them your way and stuff like that. But... It's just crazy. Nobody has no respect. None at all. Okay? It happens everywhere. It's even in public transportation. Like, the other day, I don't know if you've seen it, Jen, how a guy punched a woman because the woman bumped into him and didn't say anything and just kept walking. I know it's wrong what he did. But if you bump into somebody, wouldn't it be polite to be like, I'm sorry, my back, I didn't mean to do that. Because God knows, you know, how many people has done it to him. And I understand, like I said, you're not supposed to do that. But after a while, it just, you just snap. It, you snap because you're so tired of people bumping to you day in and day out and not even saying, sorry, my back, excuse me, sorry, you know, something. To acknowledge that, yes, okay, I did bump you and I didn't mean to do it. That doesn't work. Like, they don't do it. Yeah, I know. I can tell your face in that video. You didn't want to You didn't want to be there. You was like, I want to get the hell out of here. You know what I'm saying? You know, my camera is looking kind of crazy. Right now. So, yeah. So, I was like, hmm. And it was pretty loud. And I don't know, kids, when they see cops, they're like, ooh, we need to be quiet. Because they can go to jail, too. You know what I'm saying? They can go to jail. 
Um, what else I can recap? Oh yeah, when we was oh you asked me what I had for dinner. I had a chicken parmesan hero with French fries on the side. I didn't eat everything. I just ate half of my sandwich because it was on a hero, and the hero was like maybe this big. So I only ate half of it, and maybe I'll eat half tomorrow or something like that. I'll put it in the refrigerator. I don't know. Like I said, my whole body's been going through some change. And, you know, maybe it's just the weather, maybe me getting old, I don't know. The movie finished? How? So these are just funny clips? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I usually, sometimes, not all the time, when I do order from a restaurant or anything like that, I just usually take it home. I don't normally stay. If I see, like, the place is a little too chaotic, I'd be like, mm, no, let's take it for home. You know, you could take it home, you chill, watch some TV or listen to music or be on YouTube, and you don't have to deal with all that craziness, you know what I'm saying? And then you did mention, Jen, about certain restaurants. Applebee's is good. It can get a little crowded and crazy, but you ain't going to have to worry too much of the teen. It's more of the adults. But it's a nice environment. But it's sometimes really, like, loud. Um, so, I don't know. I might be going to Applebee's for my birthday. I'm not sure yet. And IHOP is, like, up my alley. I love IHOP. Um... The what? What um what cream palms? You lost me, Jen. Me and Daddy's gonna watch this later on. And it's funny because I got the first one, boo. So, that I think most of them are YouTubers. You know that, Noel. I think he actually recruited a whole bunch of YouTubers. Tyler Perry um, recruited a lot of YouTubers because you have Fuzzy Two. His name is Fuzzy Two. Fuzzy Two, and who else? Alex Wasabi. Alex Wasabi. These are YouTubers that have like one million subscribers to these chat to their channel. Um, who else? Who is that guy? I I recognized that guy before, but I don't know. Whew. I gotta watch this movie. Oh, oh, okay. I know what you're talking about now. Yes, yes. The 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 cold cream that I like using because it does melt away the um, mascara. Because normally, honestly, that is like the most hardest makeup to take off is the mascara. Be it regular or waterproof, like it is the most hardest thing to take off because since it's, your eyes are very delicate, I know I've seen it. But look at that. Look at that. Like, you can't bring me a paper that looks clean. Clean out your book bag. Like, seriously. Yes. This boy's book bag looks ridiculous. It's... It has chips in it. It has garbage. Let's put it that way. A lot of freaking Can garbage. Go to the thing? To what? No. You're not even supposed to be on that. So don't think you're going to play a game. Okay. okay, then. He's on punishment. He tried to be a grown-up. And I'm not about that. You're a child, so you act like a child. So, um, I mean, most of you are parents here, so you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, you're going to enjoy it. Um, me, per se, when I use it, Jen, I don't use a um, washcloth because I feel like some of the residue stays on it. I usually use a bounty towel because, you know, bounty is really strong. If you can find a strong kind. 
And I use that to wipe it off and then throw it away. I mean, call me crazy, but to me, I just feel better because at least I know that bacteria is not going to stay on the washcloth. Just something that, you know, I just feel like it's better for me. Or I use a uh, makeup wipe, one of the two. But most of the time, I just use a bounty, kind of like warm, you know, water and cleanse it off. So, and, and on the top of it, it moisturizes your skin because we all know how palms is. And they even have palms cream that you can actually just put on it. It's not to clean. You could just put it on your skin. But... First of all, I told you no Xbox. That's one. You want to play, Nathan? Yeah. So play. Ooh, controller. Just take that one, please. Controller's a controller right now. Thank you. Because he thinks he's going to be playing the Xbox. No, honey. When your mouth becomes a child's mouth, then we could talk. He thinks I'm playing. I'm not playing. I'm, I I love you and everything, but no, you're not going to be disrespectful. I'm not. Mm -mm, no. That doesn't play in my book. I already got on the, on the, give me. Shoot. He got the button stuck. It is moving it. And you got it. There we go. Okay. It's working. I'm always fixing everything. Always. Oh my God. Yes. The boys are boys. I don't know why they're so like. I mean, I can't say all boys are messy. You got some boys that are very, like my friend's son, he is very clean. And he's like 16 now. But he's always been like that, very like, you know, organized and clean and stuff, which is kind of odd because, like I said, I grew up with brothers. And none of them was that clean. So when I seen her son was very like, very on key with his stuff, I was like, wow. You know, I was I was shocked. <laughs> I've never seen a kid do that, you know. Even his desk, when you go to his desk, when he used to go to my son's school, it would be nice and clean and everything put together. It was, he's going to be a good guy. He's going to be a good man for someone, some woman out there. So, oh, my God. Yeah. I'll be fixing things even for my men. Sometimes my, my men be like, babes, this is not working. Then I got to go over there. I got to fix it. And then he'd be like, oh, babes, you're the greatest. You see, that's why I love you. You're always fixing things. That's what he says all the time. But I was like, dude, you need to learn how to fix things. I don't think I got to con continue to repeat things like a hundred times, you know? So um, the other day, Oh, I got like a bad gas in there. Huh? And I'm tired, so I don't think I'm going to be on too long because I am a little tired. Um, like I said, I've been like that tired, lack of memory. It's just, I don't know. We'll see. Oh my god, am I still on, guys? Wow. You know, there's been other YouTubers that has, have been having the same internet connection. It's ridiculous. I've been to so many other YouTuber lives, and out of like five of them, Three be having internet connection problems. Yeah, I don't know. And it started acting up since yesterday that I noticed that. But Wednesday, I was supposed to do a live, but I didn't do it. Um, Wednesday, I was watching a whole bunch of people, and a lot of them were having that same issue. And I'm like, what in the world? You know? 
or, or YouTube is not giving their notification to the people or they give it too late. The person's already offline and I'm getting notification and like YouTube really you're telling us YouTubers we need this, we need that. We're doing our job, but then you're still messing us up by not notifying our friends, subscribers, viewers that we are putting up videos. How does that work? And now I'm seeing it. Now I see the um how you say I'm just hoping I'm connected in a good one, so because we got like two different boxes, one that we have here, like the main main one, and one that we split up over there for my room. So I don't think it's dying. Oh, okay, Jen. <coughs> That's why I keep an eye on my live on the computer because it could be perfect here. And then you guys be like, oh, I can't see you. It's buffing. And I don't even know if it is or not. So now I can see myself if it stops, if it buffs, you know, stuff like that. Okay, another thing. Now, I'm going to um, kind of briefly talk about lives because I've been hearing a lot of people be like, oh, I don't know how to mod. I don't know how to blog. I don't know, you know, because they're very new. It's the first time. Um, them doing live so they don't know what is the whole thing um, when they do it firsthand they realize oh my comments are you know whatever me per se I suggest if you are gonna do a live have a different um, how you say a different like equipment um, a tablet another phone like Jan did the, um, yesterday because I watched her live after it to, in this morning um, a computer or have someone else kind of like help you out one of one of the three always have something that you can see your live on just in case you can't keep up with chat because chat does disappear after a while so yeah I think so too I think YouTube is doing certain things so that people cannot reach their goal by the 20th and that's really sad and pathetic of them to be doing that just saying you know so I don't know and on and on blah, 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 I can't even talk I have an Android phone I don't have an iPhone so for me the only thing that I can do on my phone is report the person remove the person remove the comment um, put the user on timeout or hide the user on this channel. These are only the five things that I can do on my phone. I've heard that on an iPhone you could um, mod people, but I can't do it on my Android phone. That's totally different. So I don't know what an, um, an iPhone looks like, their thing, but for me I only have five different actions that I can do on my phone. So now when I want to mod somebody I go to my computer so I'm gonna show you my computer in a minute so I can show you something and you can also see who's in your chat FYI just to let you know if you have a computer you can do this so I'm gonna put you guys to the computer just to show you how I kind of figured out the live I mean I'm still figuring out more stuff this is just generally something that I discovered while just messing with it so let me flip it to my computer guys and you can see me yes that's me and see how long it takes to flip from me to the computer it's about a seven to ten second delay so let me see if I can get close because I don't want to show nobody um okay so chat is here so you guys can see yourself so say hi everybody um okay so let's go to this little corner here now there's little dots next to people's names oh come on focus there we go focus and when you hit that little button here it has more stuff I can go to your channel and check you out I can report you if you know you know the trolls I can remove you I can put you on time out and I can also um, hide the user on this channel now and there's more. 
let's see what else there is and I can add a mod so here is more stuff if you go next to the person's name this will pop up okay just to let you know these little little dots on the computer helps you out and then up here on live chat they have another little three dots when you click it you can manage your moderators you can see who's in your chat um, the pop-up chat I've never done before this triggers the timestamp which is this right here so it lets me know more or less what time you guys um, commented on my video and then I can send feedback I never did that so I don't know what that is now when you click on participation you know the people who's watching you you can see who's here now I don't know why Bay doesn't pop up because I know she's in chat so my moderator is on top and then I'm the crown usually this is where you can see who's here so I don't know if Bay is still in chat because she was there a couple of minutes ago when I checked you was there so just in case you do want to see who's participating in your channel you can click that and it's gonna pick up who might be there I don't know if your channel's private Bay or that's the issue with it but yeah that's just a little rundown of what I've learned um about lives so oh yeah you see that's what i understand you are here but it's not popping up like your name is there oh that's what happens i think when you start conversating your name pops up but this for anyone who wants to know who's in the chat if you have a computer because i don't I, you can't really do this on how you say you see how slow my response is it is so crazy um what I was saying this is just a little bit that I learned now I know this is getting blurry sorry for the blur and yeah so I got seven people watching but it says three here that's so crazy so that was just a little like kind of like run through of what I discover for live I don't know what else they might put in there what new stuff they might put so I found it easy just to do it like that you know always have either a tablet another phone or you know a computer so that you can see your chat for one um, because like I said it really gets hard on the phone um, I've been trying to figure out how people go to Google live that's another thing that I've seen people because on the corner of the video it says Google so I'm trying to figure out how they do that and I know they do it through the computer but I don't know if my camera on my com on my computer will look any greater than this so that's probably why I use more of my phone than my computer because you know the live looks better on the on the phone than I think on the computer so yeah oh no Nathan can you do me a favor before you start that game can you give me a cup of water? Thank you. So yes. So what you guys have planned for tomorrow? Any plans? Oh, and I also like the um videos with the murals, the pictures, the painting. That was really nice. Even my hubby said it was nice. That was really nice. And you know what? What part of the Bronx is that? Because I've been all, kind of like all over the Bronx, but I've never seen that. You know, I've been, what, what, oh, there's no cups? Oh, God, you kids in cups. Kids. But you got to love them, right? Um... So yeah, so after this, I'm just going to go take a shower, relax, um, probably watch a couple of more like YouTube videos, and then probably crash out. My my phone is probably going to be looking at me while I'm sleeping, because it happened yesterday. I was watching YouTube, and the next thing I know, I'm getting up at, I think it was 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning, and I'm like, I'm looking around like, oh shoot, I fell asleep. <laughs> I was one thirsty girl. 
Um, what do you do on a daily? Um, and you, ah, well, on a daily, I drop off my older son to his middle school because he goes to middle school in Manhattan. Come home, pick up the living room, pick up my room, and if I have a load of laundry to do, I'll do that. Um, each day, I try to clean a room, be it like either the living room, the bathroom, the kitchen, my room. Because I have two other bedrooms, but they're not mine. They're like my mom's and my brother's, so I don't have to deal with those rooms. So <laughs> good for me. Oh, you have, right? It's crazy. I don't know. It's been like that for me. And I'm like, I've been so, I mean, no, I can't complain because I don't get sleep like that. So when I do get some sleep, like I said, I'm just going to crash out. You know, I'm just going to go and that's it. Nighty night. You know what I'm saying? It's me blocking. Um, I know you had a couple of them. You had a couple of them. The one with the, um, I don't want to say the, the artwork to me when I was looking at it, I'm sorry to sound kind of weird but they look like sperms with faces <laughs> if you understand you <laughs> that's for that? Jen because if I show you the the painting it that's what it looks like it looks like the shape of a you know with a tail you know a sperm with the tail and it had a face on it that's what I see now I don't know but that's what I saw so that's that's kind of my interpretation of that mural um and then you put another one up. And then I know you put one up today, but I haven't catched that one yet. I still got to watch that one. So. No, I didn't see that one. That one I didn't see. I seen the other two videos that you said you was having trouble kind of putting them together. That's the one I seen. Which I don't understand why that's happening. Like I said, I think, like you said, YouTube is trying to be like, no. And the, the thing is, we're already on February 2nd, Groundhog Day. And we have like, what, 18 days before that day comes? I'm like, oh my. It's crazy. It's so crazy. And my babies, Anna is 11 and 13. But... The 13 will be 14 April 20th. So, yeah. 420. <laughs> 420. He was born on 420. That's crazy, right? What a date. Um, for most of you that knows that number, hopefully you guys understand. Oh. Ugh. So, yeah, man, I have a little breakout right here. These are like other um, scars from other acne that I have. I think I'm having a pimple on my nose right there. So I'm going to have to start putting that thing that I got from Dollar Tree on it. Oh, shoot, I got two of them right here. But this right here is an old pimple and that and that. That, those pimples right there, when I use the thing that I got from... um. From Dollar Tree, it kind of brought them down, but I still got some scarring. So I just got to wait till they go away. No, I don't. Um, many years ago, yes. But once I had kids, you know, life changes. Some people will continue, but I Mommy. don't. And I did both, so, Mom. you know. When you're young, you do stupid things. Yes, puppy? The mic don't work. What you mean the mic don't work? Headphones don't work. Yeah. Or maybe it's a controller. It not might be the headphones. Um. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. All right. I see. That was pretty cool. I mean, every day there's something new to discover, don't you think? You learn something new every day. Like, at all, 
You sure? Um, make sure the volume on the thing is not on. What, the CD? No, 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 no. The, there's a thing. Push it up. Come here. Let me see. Here we go. Fixing another thing. Let me get the headphones. Because I'm going I'm to be really bad if it doesn't work. No, I think I know what's wrong with it. Do you think? Um, um. Audio. Hello? That's not what's wrong with it. Because I can hear it. Headset mic is off. Do you want it on? No. Okay. Mic monitor, headset. Aren't you supposed to be hearing something? I hear something. Yeah, because it's a TV. No, I hear him jumping. I hear him jumping. Get These are my headphones. Go ahead, grab them. Oh, do you got to be that brutal? It wasn't me. Oh, you hear it now? Yeah. There you go. I proved it to you guys. I fix everything in this house. Oh, my God. What would these boys do without me? <laughs> wow, he's going to have a trip when he gets older. What you mean? You lost me there. Sorry. Um, Jen. Ah, yeah. Where did the other one disappear to? Where did Noel disappear to? What? Oh. Well, I've always had this since I was young anyway, because um, when I was turning 15, a story time. Um, when I was 15, I went to go pick up my cousin because my um, at the time my cousin um, lived in Queens. So we went to go pick her up, her and her boyfriend, because I was doing a birthday party for myself for my 15th. So we're on a train and I overhear these older men, you know, having a conversation, whatever. And then one of them is like, oh, look at her. She thinks she's a teenager, but I bet you she's only 12. Literally, I was 15 at the time when they said that. And I'm like, do they know I'm a teenager and I'm not 12 years old? Don't let these baby eyes fool you. And then as time went by, I officially turned the 21, you know, the legal age to drink and everything. People thought that I was still 17 or 18 years old. And I'm like... So as time went by, people don't believe when I tell them my age. They always be like, no way. Um, I used to have a Stick'em account. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that website. That website was pretty cool until, you know, people just don't know how to act sometimes. So it got taken down. That, I liked it because you can see about eight people. You literally can see them on video. You know, the, the, the whole thing of are we trying to see if we can see each other? They did that. Stick'em did it. But the downside was it you had creepers, you know, people that abused the whole thing, you understand? Started doing things that they wasn't supposed to do on the web. And it was disgusting. They would say disgusting things. And it messed it up for everyone else that really was using it for, you know, socializing, just getting to know people from like all over the world. You know, but that's just the internet. The internet is full of good people and crazy people. So, you know. I am too, bae. I am too. I'm, I'm really tired too. But I want to conversate with you guys, you know. Because I might not do another live until next Friday. Oh, matter of fact, I'm not going to do a live next Friday. Because next Thursday or the Thursday that's coming up is my birthday. So I want to plan like a dinner birthday type thing with him. Or probably we'll do it as a family. 
So, and then for Valentine, maybe it's just me and him. So, don't know how I have planned for the next two Fridays. But I'll let you know what, you know, goes down. So, that's why I'm trying to kind of be here and talk to you, my friend. You're the backbone. Yep. You're right. You're so right. But the funny thing is, my son, the one that came with the remote, he wants to learn how to cook. So, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Yeah. No. Honestly speaking, um, Jen, he knows what 420 means. He does. You know? In the area that we live in, if you know the Bronx, you know, that's all over. And everybody knows it, so... He's not that naive, so. Thank you, Bae. Thank you. I don't know what I'm going to do for my 40th birthday because it's not that far, far away. Trust me. It's closer than, you know, I want to think about it. But I don't know what I'll do with my 40th. I don't even know when that date lands because all I have here is um, 2019. Um, my birthday in 2019, which is next year, lands on a Friday. Um, and the funny thing is, I go by the dates. Like, you know, if it's 10, then that's what it is, 30. And then you add the numbers to my age because I am an 80 baby. Yep. Oh, on the 8th, which is really not that far away. <laughs> and I know a fellow YouTuber that her birthday is this Sunday, but she has to work. But that's life, you know. You Got to make that money. Girl, in 2020, I turned 60. Yeah, I know. We're 20 years apart. That's why I say you could have been my mama. <laughs> you could have been my mama. I mean, it's crazy, right, to think that at a certain age you could be somebody else's mama or you could be somebody else's grandmother, aunt, uncle, sister, brother. It's like... That's why I say age is just a number, but it's creepy when someone who's date, like, if you're like 21 and you're dating somebody who's 50, um, I don't know if they have an issue, maybe they like older men, I mean, you could like older men, maybe like 5 or maybe 10 years, but 30 years older than you, they could be your daddy, I'm sorry, do you have daddy issues? It's, it's just like, do you have daddy issues? Seriously, it's just crazy. Or when the young guys go out with the old, well, I can't bash the Krugers, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to keep your hoo-ha good and everything, but it's just creepy. Like when you see these older folks going out with these younger people, which could be your own child. Like, oh, I don't know. It's just, mommy, does this look normal to you? Huh? Does this look normal to you? Yes, why? I know, I was trying to fix it, but it doesn't, I don't know what's going on. Or maybe you have to fix it. You gotta figure out what he did. I didn't do anything. Um, I might vlog it, yes, I might. Because um, I did vlog my hubby's birthday last year. It was really short. You know, I couldn't do too much recording because Applebee likes to play music and stuff like that. And like I said, I'm trying my best not to get no copy strike. Again, this is my job. So I'm not trying to get fired before I start. Let's, let's just keep it like that. So we'll increase the side channel. <laughs> Why you say that, babe? You have green eyes? I know probably you can't see it because the lighting here sucks, but... 
I know in my lot, a lot of my videos, you can tell that I got green eyes. So. Okay. Okay. Who's on? Excuse me. Oh, okay. So you got my my cousin's eyes. She has these nice hazel eyes that are so beautiful. And my hair is not usually this dark. Again, I did dye my hair black like a couple of times in my lifetime. So normally my hair is much, much lighter than this. Not too much lighter. I'm not like a blonde or anything like that. But it, it is lighter. Um, depending on the light, I think I was with my friend one time in, in her son's birthday party and she was like, oh, you dye your tips? And I was like, no, it's my natural highlights that were coming through. So I was thinking about doing that, Jen, but I don't know. I don't know yet. I, I, I don't know if I'm going to do it. So yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if I. I'm going to go live or not. My switch colors, green and hazel. Oh, so you got those type of eyes. Yeah, sometimes that happens with me too. Um, that's why when people ask me, what's your color eyes? I'm like, what do they look like now? Because occasionally they can go from like green to like this like greenish gray color. And then there was one time that one of my family members was looking at me and he was like why does your eye look like that blue green color from I don't know if you guys know a Newport box that blue green color and I was like I don't know but I think it has to do with what I'm wearing at that day so because I've seen some pictures that I take of myself and I'm like why does my eye look different like it doesn't look green so like right now I think they do look kind of like they look gray a like greenish gray kind of color so oh okay I mean that is not too far apart it's not too far I mean two kids you know I'm in that situation right now my hubby has three kids of a previous relationship and, you know, if you accept your partner with the kids, then you have to accept the whole package. You know, she had kids. She did what she did. I mean, it happens. That's just life. My sister-in-law has this thing of if the guy has kids, she's not going to date him. And I think that's totally wrong. I mean, it's her opinion. It's her choice. But I think it's wrong. You know why? Because she has two kids. So, your man that you date has to accept your two kids, but he can't have no kids in his life. I think that's very contradicting. You know? I don't think that's right. Because you're asking him to accept your children, but if he had children, you wouldn't date him. You think that's right? Honestly speaking, do you think that's really right to do that to someone? What does children have to do with how you feel with your partner? I mean, yeah, some people don't want to deal with other people's kids. I understand that totally. But don't get offended when nobody wants to date you because you have kids, you know? You can't feel mad if a guy doesn't want to accept you with kids. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that happened a couple of times with her that guys didn't want to talk to her because she had kids. I'm sorry, I'm just looking on the floor because there's things here on the floor and it's like driving me crazy. Yeah, it is. I just feel that's really wrong. You're demanding one thing, but then you're demanding another. So you can hear okay now? Yeah, so 
Yeah, you need some headphones to be playing some of these games because, you know, you play with other people. So you have to communicate. Yo, where did Noel go? I know, uh, Nate. Ooh. Oh my god. All I'm doing is like burping. Right. Exactly. Because that's what it feels like. You're right. Double standards. You 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 want the guy, whatever, but you don't like that it's not it's not right. I mean I understand, like I said, I understand you don't want to deal with the other person's children. But if you're a package deal and he's a package deal, there's nothing you can do. That means you're going to be single for the rest of your life if you, that's the way you're thinking. But I think she changed her mind because now, honestly, I mean, that's the way she was thinking. That was her mind, like men, the way she was thinking back in the day. And I think the way that I said it, I think she got a taste of reality because now she is with someone who has two kids just like her two kids but it's two girls so yeah um but for a very very long time that's how she was she didn't date no one that had kids she didn't want to hear it she didn't care and i'm like that's not cool you don't do that you know because if you love the person, you should accept them, I mean, for everything. But there's certain things that, you know, crosses the line when, you know, something happens in a relationship, then that's a no-no. So. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's one of those Fridays. I wasn't even sure if I was going to come tonight, guys. Honestly, I didn't even know. Um, I didn't even get to see it because at that time I'm leaving. So I seen a lot of people post it on YouTube, on Facebook, Instagram. You know, I was watching their little vids here and then. I was like, eh, whatever. Because when I was young, at eight years old, I think it was eight, seven or eight years old, um, my mom used to be with the Salvation Army Church. I don't know if you guys know what that is. Um... And at the time, I was living in Brooklyn. So it was between, this Samaritan Army Church was between, um, I want to say, 5th and 6th on 50th Street. And I think they're still to, there to this day. And when we came out of church, because I used to go to church with her, you know, we came out one night out of church, no lie. The moon that we saw that night was so beautiful and just something that I wish that I had a camera to take a picture of it because talking about it, nobody's going to believe me. It looked like the moon was coming up from the street. It was so, like, humongous. It was just, it felt like... You can jump off the edge of the street because the way it looked, it looked like you could jump off the street and onto the moon. That's how huge. And it was red and orange. It was amazing. Like, I've never in my life experienced something like that. So I don't know what kind of moon that was because I'm not a scientist. Um, the only thing, I did see the moon when I looked out my window. At one moment, it was kind of dimmed. And as time was going by it looked like it was getting brighter and brighter and then i couldn't see it after that because i had to rush to take my son so i don't get any issues so i don't know what goes on yeah because he is old enough you know what i'm saying he is 21 he's at that age that he needs to probably full face on his face to learn the mistakes you know of life because at that age you know they think they're you know, they they know a lot. I mean, they do, but they're still learning. You know what I'm saying? They're still learning. So, I mean, as long as she treats him right and does what she's supposed to do, then, you know, there shouldn't be no problem, right? 
Because I know how we moms would get with our sons. We're very protective of them. We want them to find somebody that, you know, they truly are going to be okay with. Yes, relationships, honestly speaking, it's not perfect. There will be arguments. There will be disagreements. You know, some days you don't even want to deal with the other person. That's just normal. That's normal relationship stuff. That's why when I watch YouTuber couples, like vlog, whatever, I understand. I don't want to really see them arguing. I know it happens. If you're in a relationship, then you know that is. Now, what they show you is they're happy. They're in love. Love does really exist in this world. And it's just hard for people, like just people who has been hurt so many times that they don't believe that that love that they have really exists. And it does. It really does. If you really open your heart to the other person and you sit there and you talk to them and you get to know them, you take your time to get to know them, the relationship will blossom. But remember, there's always going to be a disagreement because that is just normal. It happens with siblings. It happens with your parents. It happens with family just in general, family, friends. So why would you think it wouldn't happen with your partner? You know, you're going to have a disagreement. You're not going to agree 100% with everything. That's why you're supposed to get to know each other. Get to know what the person's dislikes and likes are so you can kind of avoid certain situations, you know? Relationships are easy. I, I find it very simple if when you start off the relationship, you start off, with just the truth and continue to do that. The minute you lie and be dishonest, you just messed up the relationship. You know, you just messed it up. Just be honest. That's all I ask from everybody, my friends, my family, my mate. Just be honest. Just tell me how you're feeling. Don't sugarcoat anything because now, like I said, if I find out later that you lie to me and you was being dishonest. Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I can believe you anymore when you say certain things. That happens, you know? If I'm going to tell you the truth, I want the same thing back. It's just common sense. Um... Who else is here? Um, does she have a chair? Whoa, that, whoa, I went super bright. <laughs> I ain't 40 yet, girl, but I'm almost there. And I don't feel old, you know? Honestly, I don't feel... It's weird because when I turned 21, I thought it would feel different because that's like the age where you can drink, you can hang out. I mean, 18 for us women, we can leave whatever, but 21 is the official, official, you know, thing. So, um... Oh, maybe, yeah, maybe for my 40th. I don't know. I don't, I've never drank margaritas. You know that? I'm not really a margarita drinker. Um, I'm more of like a wine drinker. Like I like the, um, sing, sierra, sing, ah, uh, can't even say it, but it is wine. Um, and certain liquors. You know, I do drink beer occasionally, but I don't know. I haven't had beers in a long time. Um, I don't know. I haven't really feel like I want to drink neither, you know. It's kind of odd. That's another thing I've noticed. You know, I don't drink as much as I... I still got a whole bottle of Amsterdam. Um, I think it's in a coconut flavor. Still sitting on my fridge. So, I don't know. I'm slowing down on my alcohol intake. It's just, there's been a lot of change. A lot of change. I mean, not for the bad anyway. I think 
it's for the good. Um, like I said, I'm not a drinker like that. I drink occasionally, especially for parties and stuff like that. But, yeah. I don't know. Oh, uh, okay. You love margaritas, rum, coke, wine. Yeah. Um, and I am picky with my beer. I just, I am so picky with my beer. I can only drink either a Heineken or a Corona. That is it. I cannot stand Cool's Light. I cannot stand Budweiser. Um, check inside my uh, bra drawer. It should be some batteries in there. Do you know what my bra drawer is? Nathan, okay. I might have two batteries in there because I did buy batteries from Dollar Tree and I don't know where I put it at. Oh my God. I don't know what I'm doing with my life now. I think that's the aging of me. Like I mentioned yesterday, I'm losing my memory. I'm getting hot and cold. My husband, I'm driving him crazy. Because there's times at night that I can really feel really hot. And I'm like, dude, I'm hot. I'm hot. And I'm turning on the fan. And then there's times that I feel cold. Like I said yesterday, my feet even gets cold. Like, you can touch my feet and it feels ice cold. So, I don't know if I'm starting the stages of menopause. Because, you know, as you get closer to your 40s and 50s, that happens. So... Or it can be just because my certain there's something wrong with my blood. So, like I said, hopefully I'll find out what's going on. And I know, right? But there are women that start going through menopause between their mid-30s and late-30s. It is odd, but it happens, you know? And then I've had... um how you call them, mood swings. Like one minute I can be a nice person and then the next, I don't know, something just rubs me the wrong way and I'm like, ugh, I'm like another person. I feel like I'm a Gemini and I'm not, you know what I'm saying? So I have my good days, I have my bad days. But what's really killing me is my memory because I've always been good with my memory. And now that I know what it feels like not to remember things, especially when you're going somewhere to get something and you get there and you don't remember what the hell you went there for. It, it kills me. People got to remind me on certain things now. And I feel really like, oh, I really feel it at this moment, you know. Oh, excuse me. And like I said, I've been getting good sleep. I try to listen to my body. I really do try to listen to my body. You know, if my body says time to sleep, time to sleep, you know. And the good thing is I get to sleep in tomorrow a little later. Um, I don't have to get up at 5.30. I know you, Jen, said it yesterday. Oh, yesterday you said it or something like that? That you get up at 5.30 as well? There is? There's a vitamin that I can take for that. Because right now I'm taking vitamin D. So, because I am low on that. So, I don't know what other vitamins right now I'm low. My doctor just pinpointed that one. But that's the same for my kids. Which is kind of odd, Bay, Because I eat a lot of dairy stuff. So, this is the whole thing that I don't understand, you know. How doctors say, drink your milk, you can eat cheese, whatever, you know, any kind of like dairy things to get your vitamin D. But then I'm lacking it. I don't understand. I drink my milk. I have a cup every morning. Um, I eat cheese. I eat my yogurt sometimes. I like the activity of one. Um, cottage cheese has hopefully vitamin D because it's like a milk product. So I'm like... I don't know. The last moon. Let's see. Mm. 
In Florida. Oh, okay. That's cool. You feel so... I was... I don't know which video that I saw it in. You are so tired of New York. It is so funny. I feel... I feel the same way because, like I said, we lived in New York for almost all our life. You know... I've traveled, but not as far as I would love to travel, you know what I'm saying? But I feel you, you know, I think it is time to leave New York behind, you know, been here long enough. There's not really too much stuff. Like I was talking to my husband just a while about houses, you know, that I wouldn't mind living in New York in a house, but the taxes alone would be so much more than getting a house somewhere down south. You know, you get more for your money when you go down south. A better house, a better yard, just everything is so better. The only downside is you must have a way to travel, which is a car. And I don't drive personally. I don't know if I'll ever attempt to get my driver's license because... It's hard for me to have someone sit next to me and actually, like, look. Not, I know they're not going to look all the time on me, but it's just the feeling of I'm knowing somebody's there and they're documenting what I'm doing, like how I'm driving, if I'm doing the left turn, am I turning on the left, the left signal, the right signal. Um, I think I could probably pass those with flying colors. It's just the paralleling parking that I think is going to be the hardest because a lot of people do fail that portion of the test. So that's why I don't know if I'll ever get a driver's license. You know, I'm so dependent on public um, transportation all my life that I don't know. I, I never thought it was any need for a uh, driver's license, you know. Uh, okay. I hope I don't have to because I don't like needles. Even though I have a tattoo here and I have a tattoo in my back, I don't know. I just, I don't like them. Oh, okay. Because I know there are part of Florida's where it's like a city and I know there's transportation around there and stuff like that. So... I don't know. I don't know. It's it's still up in the air, like I said. But I honestly want to get out of here. Like, if I can find someplace else to live, fine. Because, like, today, I didn't tell you how bad of a day this Friday was in the morning. It got better in the afternoon. I'm one that I like walking down the stairs. Most of you know that I live up high floors. 12th floor, right? So in the morning, I'm fine. I'll walk down the stairs with no problem. Everything is good. Now, when I came back home, I was so mad. So mad because both elevators was broken. I can understand one elevator breaking. You know, you still have one to work with. But both of them was broken. And what upsets me is I know the elevator was walk working when I left this building this morning because there was a lady that lives on my floor. She has one of those um, walkers with wheels. And I seen her downstairs. So I know she got on that elevator to get downstairs. And by the time she got back, somebody or someone decided it was fun to pull out the um, sensor bar. Like literally they janked the whole entire thing out. So now the doors wasn't censoring the partner. So it wouldn't close. And then the other one was stuck between like the first and second floor. So I'm like, are they dumb? Really? And then what really wants, what I really want to leave out of here is I've been hearing some rumors. I don't know if it's true in my building that the other day, they slice somebody and they chase the person to rob them, starting from my building. So I was like, what? And these, these are the reason factors that I want to leave New York. I mean, I think anywhere you go, there's going to be crime and stuff like that. 
But it's like I told my husband, if we find like a community that is gated, I don't think we have to worry too much. You know what I'm saying? I don't think we have to worry too much. But then again, remember the case of the, I don't know what the guy's name was, This the so-called community guard for their community, and then he shot the kid, and all he had was, what was it, a Sprite and Skittles? You was afraid of a 16, 17-year-old boy. You couldn't fight back, so you decided to shoot him, and then he got away with it. That's the crazy thing. He got away with it. So sad. So again, even if you are in a community, you never know who is actually who, but it's the chance you got to take. But I feel like it's a little more safer because like the people who don't belong in the community can't get into the community. You know what I'm saying? Unless they buzz you in or they call the person, whoever you're going to visit. And I like that because my hubby's friend lives in a nice little community and that's why I probably would choose a community over a house in the woods just saying because the security guard is always in the front um if he knows you he'll buzz you in but if he don't know you he would be like yes how can I help you who are you here for and he will call the person to find out if the person's home and if it's okay for the person to come in I love that I love that because for me it cuts down some of the worry you know what I'm saying? And they patrol too. I've seen it happen because when I was staying with them in that community, I will see them patrolling in the car because sometimes it would get too extremely hot. Because when we went to Florida, it was on July and it was pretty warm. So, and there was times that we would be in the pool and they would go around looking around to see, you know, who's who. So, yeah. They really do keep that community very safe. So, if I can find something similar to it, then it then it'll be good. I'll be happy. But yeah. I mean, he did plan moving to Jersey, but I was like, no, I don't want New Jersey. Even though my dad lives in New Jersey. His sister his sister lives in New Jersey. My aunt lives in New Jersey. So I do have a couple of family in New Jersey. But I don't know, like I don't know if I really want to be close to my sister in law. I don't know. Um, I do have people that live in um, Pennsylvania. I have uncles and aunts out there, cousins. Um, my three stepkids live out there. So that's my hubby kids. They live out in Pennsylvania. And yeah, Connecticut, yes, I have family members there, but I haven't seen them in many, many years. Um, yeah, that's about it. New Jersey, Connecticut, and Philadelphia. I have family members there. I do have family member in Florida, in um, f um, what is it called? Flo Tampa, um, Tampa Bay, um, people in Orlando. Cause I notice a lot of people that are from New York. That's where they migrate to. They migrate to um. Is he playing? Nathan, give me one second. I love you, but you got to learn your lesson. Oh, sorry, guys. Oh, my God. He think he's slick. Sorry, guys. I had to spit. <laughs> 
Um, yeah, he's trying to be slick. He goes to my room because there's another Xbox over there, and he doesn't tell his dad that he is punished. You know, like I said, I don't tolerate kids using certain words at certain age. That's just how I feel. That's why I don't know if parents know that's happening or they like close minded on that or be like, oh no, my children, my children don't do that. And probably Jen is the witness because I know she was around teenager. They love to use the, you know, the F, the B and all these words. No, that's not coming out your mouth. And you're not going to use it against your family neither. I don't. He's lucky I wasn't here because, like I said, I probably would have popped his lips. And if he would have went to school and the teacher would have asked him, if he would have lied about it, I'd be like, well, he did this and this and this and this. Now what? What are you going to do? Because I be hoo-ha that he comes to school and wind up cursing your butt, and then you're going to call my butt telling me why he's doing that. So I'm going to nip it in the butt when I need to nip it in the butt. Just keep it 100. No, I don't tolerate that. Don't tolerate it. I don't play games. Like I said, I love my children to the heart. I don't like punishing them. I hate doing that. But maybe it will get through the head. Okay, next time let me not say certain words. Let me do this. Let me do that. You know, it's time for school. If people telling you to do something, just do it, especially if it's an adult. I don't tolerate that, you know. Like I said, in school, he doesn't give no teachers no issues. But you want to give us an issue? No. No. Mm -mm. It's fun and game, but no. When you start using words that is not supposed to be in your vocabulary, mm -mm. I don't agree with that. I don't think it's cute. I do not think it. Because now they'll think that I'm teaching them, you know, certain words and stuff, and I'm not. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. You ain't, you ain't playing nobody. Probably playing yourself, but you ain't playing me. So. I don't think that goes. I think this goes. Um, I don't know what he did. I don't even know what this is supposed to look like. That's why I was like, where is you? Because you don't normally disappear from this living room. Oh, and he downloaded the game that I wanted to play. I just realized what he was playing, too. I love racing card games. Yes, guys, I love racing card games. I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, can you turn off the heater? Because I really got heated right there. Like, that made me really hot. <laughs> that little bit there heated me up. I'm really heated right now. And they know me. I don't tolerate that. You know? I don't. Yeah, I know. I know. It's so hard sometimes because you're like, especially, honestly, like when you kind of hit something, especially when you hit your toe. <laughs> you know, when you hit that toe or that funny bone, there's no way to not say it because like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? But I've been working on that. You know, I don't try to curse as much as before. So, <laughs> we should both have, what? We should both lead to Florida. Yeah. I don't know. But the thing is, I don't know what part I want to move to. There's so many different areas. Um, so, I got to do my research. You understand? It's the research, the pricing of the house. Um just the whole thing because I don't know who's going to be I know it's going to be me and my two kids and my hubby but I don't know who else wants to move with me you understand because I'm a family oriented person I like to have my family <gasps> together so if they can help out in any way and form I don't mind them moving with me but I don't know we'll see I mean we're all been here so long I think we need a new change you know my mom likes to be outside so being in florida she can be outside all the time and maybe she might make some new friends better friends you know she never knows but i'm trying to convince her I'm trying to convince her because you know 
living here where things don't work. It's just crazy outside. I think Florida life would be better for her, you know. And she does suffer from um, arthritis. I think that's what you call. So occasionally the cold will do some effect to her bones, which it's happening to me as well. So I have knee problems. So like not bad knee problems, but I don't think it's because of, I, I sometimes feel it is. And I feel like sometimes it's not. I just feel it's because of the accident that I had when I was very, very young. Not too young. I was like a teenager, 17. Um, I think that has something to do with it, you know. I think one day, like I said, I might start doing some story times here and just kind of like talk about my close to life death experiences. Um, the time I found out I was pregnant with like both of my kids, you know, the difference because there was a difference between them. Um, how I met my, my hubby, you know, there's like a couple of stories there. I just got to figure out how can I put them in, but not like oversaturate it for a month. Maybe put one each month or something like that, or maybe two each month. I don't know. So, uh, what do you say? Cheaper houses, land, and rent in the north part of Florida. The close to Miami. Oh, yeah, I know. I've heard the closer you are to Miami, the more expensive it is because that's more like closer to the ocean and stuff like that it's more closer to the beaches so and that's where everybody usually go to hang out when they go to florida especially just to have fun miami is like one of them and then orlando's the other one and kissing me is this next one so i know those areas because i've been to orlando i've been to kissing me that's how you say it right i haven't been to miami but i know people that have been to miami um, I've heard people about Jacksonville, so yeah, and it's also and it's also a lot of hotels out there too in Miami. There's a lot of hotels, so that's what's ranking up the prices because there are businesses out there that is just looming and stuff. So the rent and everything down there, just real estate wise, is so high. If you don't have the money, don't think about living in Miami. Seriously, you know. Oh, okay. So you're closer to where like Texas and New Mexico is, like that side of the United States map, right? So. And the only scary thing that I worry most of the time is the hurricanes. You know, the hurricanes that go to Florida. That's what I'm really worried about because I've never, I mean, I can't say I never lived through a hurricane because even when Sandy hit us, I thought it was going to be really bad, but where we live at, the part of the Bronx we live at, we didn't get hit that bad. Like, by Yankee Stadium, by the water part, Manhattan got hit bad. Brooklyn, by Red Hook, got really bad hit. So, I'm not near water. I'm, like, yay far away from the water, so I'm good. Ooh. So, you went through that hur the hurricane, um... The one that went through my, the one that went through like, um, not, I don't think, no, I don't think that's the one. Is it the one that hit Puerto Rico? And then, no. Because I know they got hit last year, during the summertime, Miami and all those, you know, they had to evacuate everybody. Shoot, if you tell me I got to leave, I'm going to leave. That's it. You know, I'll find something. Yeah, I think it was. Cause there was a couple of hurricanes last year that was like, whoa, Mother Nature wasn't having it last year. So I know there was a lot. So shoot, I'm probably gonna start getting ready to take this off. Sorry if I'm buffing. Oh god. I'm trying to take it off because I got to go soon. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to do that. It was really like, ugh. Oh, okay. Yeah, because some areas really got hit really bad. 
and then some areas didn't. And then a fellow YouTuber was complaining how, you know, FEMA was taking care of such and such and, you know, why they're not helping them. But the funny thing is when they show you their area, their area didn't even get hit that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like there was more down, like more down Florida that got hit more. There was water and they needed more help and they didn't see that. You know, and I think that was wrong for them to do that and say that about FEMA. You know what I'm saying? You didn't get hit that bad. There was no real damage. You know, okay, maybe your hubby probably not be able to work for a couple of days. But it's like I said, you always got to save money for a rainy day. That's just an, one thing you do. You know, again, I love splurging. I love buying things. But I still have to save in some areas because you never know when situations hit like that, you know, and people never are really prepared. And it's sad because they never think, oh, this is not going to happen. So, eh, but, you know, they don't care until it happens. I'd rather show him the ropes. Yeah, that's not cool that he's saying certain words and people. Yeah, and that's the problem. What? You know, then they want to say that we're bad parents. We're not teaching our kids anything. And, you know, there are parents that don't give a hoo-ha. You know, hey, Ja, how you doing, girl? How was the wedding? Yes, Ja got married today, guys. Wish her congratulations. Oh my God, right, babe? That was crazy. That was so freaking. No, Nathan, you over there? Can you give me a cup of water and kind of fill it up more, please? Love you. <laughs> fill it up a little more. You you didn't even fill up the cup, or is there not a lot of water in there? There's not a lot of water. <sighs> Just give me whatever's in there. Take whatever's in there and give it to me. Oh, I know. I use that word sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. Can't wait to see them. So how does it feel to be a married woman, huh? Yeah, hopefully he'll learn his lesson. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, Buffy. Thank you. It might seem like a lot, but there's not a lot. I'm one thirsty girl over here. Yeah, I don't. I don't tolerate that. Yeah, you missed it, y'all. I had to go and get my son because he thinks he's grown. And he's only 11. He's the one that acts like the most grown up here. And he's only 11. So. <laughs> you know, because I don't try to hit them. I don't. For me, I don't like that because my mom did that growing up. She didn't, and I really resented her so much for that because I'm like, why am I getting hit? Can you explain? I mean, I know I did something bad, but I don't think it was that bad for me to get spanked. I mean, I've seen kids do wor way worse than me, and they don't even get slapped, you know? They don't even get slapped. So I was like, what am I getting hit for? So, and you know how Spanish moms are, so, yeah. They don't play. They do not play. So that's why I say, hey, Ja, welcome to momhood. Hopefully she don't drive you up the wall like my two sons do. Because kids, they'll test you. Gee, they'll test you. Oh, okay, I see. I understand, babe. Yeah. 
I mean, like I said, my mom did it when supposedly I did something bad. It wasn't something that she constantly did all the time, you know what I'm saying? Because I know there are parents that OD on that. And that's another thing, okay, with that topic. Um, if you guys have saw in the news about the, what is it, 13 children that they found and the oldest was 29 and he looked like he was like really, really young. That's crazy. Like how in the world didn't the neighbors know something was going on? I'm not a nosy neighbor, but I know who comes in and out these apartments. You know, there's times that when I'm coming out, my neighbors are coming out. So I know who lives in what apartment. So you're going to tell me you never saw children coming in and out? I mean, yes, I know that was homeschooled and stuff like that. But still, how? I just, I don't know. And this is why I say ACS or whatever you want to call them. They need to retrain them in some sort of form because they be taking children out of their houses for simple, stupid things. Like, oh, I spanked my kid or my kids didn't go to school for a week or a month. They want to take them away from me. I mean, I know education is important, but how abusive is that compared to what they was doing to their kids? See what I'm saying? And then they mess up the family. The mom and dad has a case. It sticks with them if they figure out nothing. I don't know. It's just a whole thing. I should know because it happened to me as a kid. You know, someone called ACS on my family when I was very young. And nothing was wrong with us. We were fine. They were mainly concerned because we were so thin at the time. But the thing is, is that's the way we were because we were so active. You know what I'm saying? We ate. Don't get me wrong. I can eat like a man when I was young. I can't do that now. But when I was young, I used to eat so much. You could ask my aunt, my uncles. I used to eat seconds and I would not gain no pounds. So someone, we don't know who it is because they, ne they never really tell you who called them, said that my mom wasn't doing this or whatever the case. And, you know, things happen. So... That's what really separated my mom and dad because she wasn't having it. She wasn't going to lose us. So she was like, you know what? I'm going with them, figure out whatever. But then their relationship wasn't that good anyway. So, yeah. Um, when he said, it's okay, I'm ready. I took my brother and nephew and nieces. Oh, okay. A care of them, yeah. Yeah, I did the same thing, Ja. I did, Um, I used to, I took care of my niece when she was first first like a newborn like I changed the diapers I changed um fed her took her outside she's the one that sometimes she's in my vlog but right now we have a falling out you know because she is 26 she's an adult she thinks she knows it all whatever the case so I just let it be so you know at one point she was always with me like it was all about me Wherever I went, store, whatever, she would want to be there. So I really loved that. But then as she started aging, she went back with her mom. It was like she took a whole 360 and she changed on me. So kids are kids, like I said. Um, oh, my God. I'm so angry about that, too. Oh, my God. They have three bedrooms. What up? In Orlando, they have a three-bedroom for sixteen hundred. A house four-bedroom apartment costs nine fifty. That is not bad. Yeah, babe. I think they did. Hey, Sarah. How you doing? Sorry, I didn't see you earlier. I'm just going in about the conversation. So, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for passing by. Um, so yeah, I've been doing my rounds and I've been supporting everybody here, guys. I've been doing my best, you know what I'm saying? Because we all need some kind of support. And if YouTube ain't going to do it for us, we'll do it, you know? I know a lot back then, that's not how it was, but we can't let YouTube take us out, you know? We got to do it.
we got to show them that we are united as a community. And what's so sad is that they doing these little things because they don't want to pay everybody. Let's put it that way. But I see it like this. You have over God knows how many billions of people, YouTubers, watching and being YouTubers. And you're going to tell me you don't have enough to pay all of us? You make enough money. Trust me and believe me. YouTube makes enough money to pay us all. They do. And that, that, that's what I hate about some companies. They start making so much money that they try to cut corners just not to play the employees money. So it's it's sad. I believe in time outs and making it if if I have to spank I would I know that it's all right. Yeah, there is. Yeah, it is, Sarah. It is, because I started doing these Chit Chat Fridays since, I want to say, October. And ever since October, I come here every every um Friday, and I do a live. And most of my lives last for like two to three hours, because I have a great support team that just keeps <gasps> it going, you yeah. know? They be like, yeah, yeah this okay. and that, and they ask me questions and stuff. I might do a and a live, because I haven't done one in a, like, a while. So I might do a Q&A live because now my channel is a little bigger. I have a little more more people here, friends, viewers. So maybe I'll do a live Q&A, you know. It's better than just doing a Q&A recorded because I feel like maybe you might have more questions on top of the questions that you send me. So doing it live is more interactive and I can really explain it and not have to worry about, oh, let me do a 30-minute video and put it up and whatever. You know, it cuts the editing time, you know, from doing all that work. Even though I love doing that work, it is a work. So, yeah, it's fun. I find it really fun. But like I said, YouTube needs to upgrade this stuff and make it more accessible that I can see who's actually writing to me. I mean, I'm, I think they'll limit it maybe to like 10 people. Damn, I'm breaking out with a rash, and I don't even know why. And I've been touching it. Like, I've been breaking out with some little things there. I don't know. Maybe the soap, something. I don't know. I'm telling you, my body's going through some crazy changes the last couple of weeks. I just don't understand why. Don't. So. Who else is on? Um... Oh, I'm going to watch that, but I'll watch it later. The Ace Family just put another video up. Um, who else? Has anybody tasted the new um taco fries from Taco Bell? I'm just curious because I was going to get it and do a live on it, but then I think I saw somebody do it already, but I haven't checked out the video because I'm like, mm, I want to buy it myself and try it. So, oh, you have? Is it good? Oh, yeah. You know, I want to get some then. <laughs> Bae, you funny. I seen the commercial, I think it was like on a Monday night. Yeah, I think it was Monday night. They showed it and I was like, nacho fries? And I'm like looking at it like, that looks good. And then the cheese, because I am a cheese fanatic. I love, love cheese. Like when I was pregnant with my two kids, oh my God, my cheese intake went through the roof. Like that was what I was urging while I was pregnant with them. So... So if you're saying it's good, I'll probably I'll probably see if I can get it. Because there is a Taco Bell where my oldest son's school is at. They have a Taco Bell. They have a Pizza Hut. They have a what is that? Wendy's. Um, Burger King. What else? And a McDonald's, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, okay. I'll see. I'll, I'll see if I try it out. Cause I was supposed to get it, and I just like, mm, I just like, mm. <laughs> you know. 
What's this? Are you really listening to that song again? Why? Not you. Talk it to daddy. Because I know daddy's in the kitchen. I think it's him who's in the kitchen. It sounds like him. Or I could be wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Okay, so you don't like cheese fries, but you like Cheetos. Okay. Can I help you? Because I know it was you. It was either you or Noel. You guys like to be very sneaky. For what? No, I don't have none. Sorry. Sorry. Go have a chill day. So you was able to download the game? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be playing that later. Nah, tomorrow. I'm tired. Oh my god, I'm gonna fill up myself with water. Ugh. I'm sorry, I'm just looking down on my calendar. I gotta get this calendar done. So February is looking pretty cool. Um that I know, I think I know there's two other birthdays in this month other than mine's. It's two other birthdays. I can't wait till they off of school. They have six days off of school plus the weekend. And you know what's amazing? Back in the days here in New York, we wouldn't have Chinese New Year's off. But amazingly, now these kids are getting Chinese New Year's off. And it started, I think, like a year back or so. Okay, Sarah, thanks for passing by. I really appreciate it. I don't know. I might go short tonight. So I might not do a three hour live stream today because I'm not like feeling it like that. Unless you guys have something kind of spicy to talk about. <laughs> Over here playing with this. I don't know how you fix this. Like, ugh, I can't even think how this looked like. This is a hell of a brain teaser. And I'm not trying to do it because my head is not ready to think over here. Um, Jay was here earlier, but he comes in and out. <laughs> he comes in and out occasionally. You cold? Oh, you cold because you ate an icy. Yeah, all oh, that I also got too from Dollar Tree. I forgot to mention the um, icy cups that they sell there. So, cayenne pepper, red pepper, jalapeno. <laughs> ah, it says spicy, and you said you're saying all the spicy stuff. You funny babe. <laughs> Oh my God, have you seen all those people doing the spicy challenge stuff? I wish them luck because I personally couldn't do it. You know what I'm saying? Spicy food, spicy does not agree with me. Mm -mm. I'm sorry, I'm just opening my pants because I'm like sitting here. So. <laughs> yeah, I said spicy. So... I think those people are crazy doing those spicy challenges because you never know. Okay. You, you might think you don't have like any problem with spicy food, but the stuff that they try is like OD spicy and that can hurt your stomach. OD's not a word. You know what I'm saying? That could really mess the lining of your stomach because that's a lot of spicy food. Your stomach has to break down. And, oh, my God, can you imagine when they have to go use the bathroom? I wonder if their butts are burning. Because, you know, that got to go through all your system and out somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there was. But then there is another challenge about the spiciest chip. Um, I've seen it on the Ace Family. They, they did this 
thing that it looks like a coffin and it's supposed to be the most spiciest chip of all and I'm like okay and then Catherine which is the the fiance of Austin that was so messed up what she did she took the the, the chip and he she kind of like shoved it in and it kind of like hit him around here a little and what was that for his whole face he had like I think an, a reaction to the spiciness of that chip his whole face was so badly red I felt so bad but it was so funny because it at that moment when she did it it was hilarious but then when you realize what's happening to him I'm like oh my god look at and you can see his face reacting to that spiciness of whatever they put on that chip to the point that he literally jumped into his own pool and that didn't even help him his mouth was still he felt like it was still on fire so I was like you are crazy and then they decided to find like people that would actually do it and they found two guys I don't remember their name and they literally ate the damn chip. They 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 broke the chip and they both had, you know, pieces of the chip. And they ate it. I was like, what? And he paid them $1,000 to do it. $1,000 in singles. So I was like, these kids. Oh, my God. They were crazy. They were crazy. I tried too hard to hear you. Left now. Hubby's playing video games. He's loud. Left now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know how you feel, Ja. What? Do you know Faith from Rock Tunes? No, I didn't know that. Um, so yeah, I was like, yo, he they're crazy. They're they're really crazy. And getting back to what Ja said, yeah, my hubby right now, I understand what you mean because like I said, there'd be times I'd be in my room trying to watch YouTube and he'd be like, Did you see that? He'd be throwing out the F bombs and you name it, he be cursing at the screen. Okay, that's just what men do. And it's like, I do not care. And it's like, every few seconds, he's like, babe, did you see that? And I'm like, I look at him with his face like, I'm on my phone. You see that YouTube is on. You see that I'm looking at on my stream. What makes me think that I'm looking at you and your game? Honestly, <laughs> I don't care. Oh. Oh, oh okay. Because that's like, there's even places where you have to sign a waiver because they don't want to be liable for whatever happens to you because if you knew this is spicy and you took the chance to do the spiciness then that's on you you know what i'm saying oh god i'm so sorry guys i'm just like it's the first time i let my hair loose in weeks it's been like ponytail all the time ponytail ponytail Whew. so no, no. Do me a favor. Take that pizza box. Take it, to the, uh, take it to the kitchen. That's one. No, no. Really? What? Sorry, guys, for the yelling. Take the box into the kitchen with your hands, not your feet. You want to add more days? No playing video games? You let me know right now. Because I'm not smiling neither. And I don't care if I'm live. I'm going to keep it real. You and your blue face. Because I'm going to keep laughing when you can't get that remote control and play. How you like that? <laughs> real life. And he's the only one that really gives me that, that you know. And if you're tired, do what you got to do. Let's go. You know what I said? I feel like throwing you something so bad. <sighs> oh my God. This is why I need like my own space as well. That's another reason why I do want to move out of here because I don't have my own space, you know? My kids are here in the room. My man is in the room. I don't have a room to myself. 
I used to record in the kitchen, I mean, not kitchen, bathroom all the time. But even then, you could still hear my family walking around, my doggy walking around because she has a collar that jingles and all that crazy stuff. So, oh, man. So, how was the dinner after the wedding, Ja? Was it good? Did you what did you go to after? Because I know you say you do the wedding, and then the dining. Uh, yeah. Cause, I mean, I don't mind the chaotic noise because that's just the reality. You know, that's the real, real deal when it comes down to being a family person. That's gonna happen, but. You know, we do like to have videos that are quiet so that the audience or whoever's watching, our fan, our subscribers, our viewers are watching. They can hear what we're saying. And then I like like this, trying to hear everything that we're saying, you know. Oh, OK, cool. Cool. See what happens when you're not acting like a kid and you want to act like an adult? I didn't say anything to you. No, I didn't. I care. Two rats, you know what? No, I don't care. What did you have to eat? What what was on like on the menu? <laughs> I'm I'm thankful because I sometimes don't have to cook on Friday and Saturdays. Those are like my my days off. Um, I normally just cook from like Sunday to Thursday, just so that my hubby can have like lunch to take the next day, or sometimes my mom because sometimes she wants to help out. She'll cook sometimes, so. I'm good. That's what I like. I, I I have, you know, I'm not rich in a lot of other ways that people want to be rich in, but I'm rich in other blessing ways. You know what I'm saying? And I'm I'm loving that a lot of YouTubers are realizing that they should be grateful for what they have. You know, because it could be a lot worse. You could be in the streets, homeless. You can be in a place where it's falling apart and it's not you could be in a place where there's no running good clean water you know what i'm saying so it's like every little thing you should be counting your blessing i mean some people don't believe in that i mean at one point i didn't at one point i went through some struggle in life you know not understanding life but like i said once you get older and you see things you be like what was i thinking and it's sad that it takes when you get older to understand and not when you're young. Oh, oh yeah, because you have a certain kind of diet, so. Mashed potatoes with gravy and a salad. Mm. <laughs> what in the world? Yeehaw. That's what it looked like he's doing. He's doing Ganga style. <laughs> you remember the dance, the Ganga style? That's what it's because he's playing um what is the game called? Fortnite on the Xbox. I know your husband plays PlayStation. And I think a lot of people that I follow, they do play a lot of PlayStation more than the Xbox, which is weird. But and it was, I think what it was, it was a cheaper consult anyway, because the Xbox One came out really expensive. And the PlayStation was still under, I think, $300. So I think that's why everybody bought that over the Xbox. Just the price. What's wrong with you? Huh? The Xbox One costs more. And the PlayStation costs, the PlayStation costs like 
Yeah, I want to, but I don't play. Oh, um, okay. So you do what I do sometimes with the Xbox. I watch Next Flags, Hulu Plus, and YouTube. So I see you guys in the big screen sometimes, you know, on my 42, I think it's a 42 inch screen TV. Or like I said, if my hubby is playing video games, I watch you guys off my phone, which doesn't bother me because I don't really like watching it on a computer sometimes because this computer, I like to keep it for certain things. So. Work some Friday at. Let me check that and go here. Oh wow, ten thirty, about to be ten thirty. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, you see, I need to. I'm gonna see. I need to see how they do this. How do they do that? You see, they got people on their live, and you can see, well, I think it has to do with Google, something with Google. So I'm going to have to figure this out because one day I really want to like chat with everybody on just. And instead of like chit chatting on the chat, you can actually speak and I can actually, you know, conversate. So I need to figure this out. Somebody's twerking. Oh my god, it's crazy. Okay, blue is in there. DC is in there. Who is the other two? I don't know who the other ones are. Huh, <laughs> make it clap. <laughs> that is so funny. Sorry, guys. So what time is it? Two twenty. So probably eight more minutes. Um. So the pictures you're gonna put up on Instagram, right, Ja? That's what you're gonna put it at on your Instagram. Cause then I'll probably check it on later on tonight. Yeah, they are. They're crazy. But I got to give it up to them because honestly, I think they're the, I don't know if they're the first couple to be up there, up there. Because I watch a lot of YouTube couples and some of them are not at the one million, well, some, not all, are at the one million mark. And then a lot of them, the other ones are like almost halfway to being there. Like some of them are 500, some of them are 3,000. I mean, don't get me wrong, I think, who was it, uh, B&D Nation was the first couple thing to do it, but um, they were too fake. They started getting really fake, and a lot of people started realizing that they were doing videos just for the views, which, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it, but they started looking so fake, and they got caught out there. So now they did another channel and they call it the Prince Family or whatever the hell they call their last name. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. I watched your video last night, yeah, um, Ja, with the um, beauty hack to clean the brushes and the beauty blender. I know that's a mouthful to say, beauty blender, like BB. <laughs> it is so bright because I'm looking at the Instagram on my computer. Uh, 
Oh, yes, yes. You know, I haven't been eating tomatoes lately. Maybe that's why I'm having issues with my blood. Hmm. Because I love tomatoes. I can sit there and eat a whole tomato. And then when I was young, I used to eat a can of beets. I don't know how many of you guys like beets. But I used to eat the can of Goya beets. Like literally, I would tell my mom to open a can. And I would sit there in front of the TV and just be like, and eating it. Like, to me, it was very sweet. And though it was a vegetable, but I just used to be like, boom, and boom, and just eating it. So, what did you just say? Let me see. Um, yeah. I got, girl, talking about that, I have to wash my brushes. Even though I don't use a lot of makeup, just having them sitting there for a while, you know, things can fall on them and stuff. So it's always good to clean them. That's why it's, to me, it's okay to have your brushes, like, nice and out. But, you know, there's things in the air and things fall on the brush. And, like I said, I don't really use my brushes a lot. I only do makeup once in a while. And sometimes I just play with it and then put pictures on Instagram. So that's what I mostly do. Oh, okay, I see one of your pictures here. I have a case. Mm -hmm. Oh, a case, a case, okay. No, I understand what you said, sorry. I have to like think what I said, because sometimes, and I notice that it happens a lot to all of us that do live. We say something, and like I said, it takes about almost seven to ten seconds before you guys hear what I just finished saying. So it's like I sit here quietly and I wait to see if you guys respond. And when you guys don't respond, I just kind of move on and then I forget what I said. And then you respond because you're seeing a delay of what I just finished saying. So we have I personally have to learn how to like learn how to slow down, you know. <laughs> he is so laid back while you just like, yeah. What was he doing on his phone? Like, seriously. What was he doing on his phone? Oh, okay. Because I'm like, I see you taking a picture, and he's like, <laughs> I think they cut off him off guard when they did that. They did that picture. That's a picture to remember. I know it's oh my god. Oh. I like the pictures you be throwing up of your cat. Oh. My cats don't stay long enough still to take a picture. For real they don't. They don't stay long enough to take a picture. Let me go back to chat. Oh my god, my eyes are getting a little tired. <coughs> wow, my you see my eyes got watery all of a sudden from looking at that bright screen. That's why I don't mess with the computer too much. And the only reason why it's bright is because there's not too much light here. So sometimes I use the brightness from the computer. And you can see, yeah. I didn't curl my lashes today. I didn't have enough time. I just put my brows, my mascara, some chapstick, some lip like this. And I'm out the door. I don't even wear foundations too much, as you could tell. If I did, you wouldn't see all this breakout. Trust me, I can cover that up. You know. Which reminds me, I gotta get some foundations. Gotta get some new ones. 
I'm dying to get the Fanti um, foundation so badly. I want to get it. I really do. I've, like I said, I've heard good stuff of it. So that's why I want to try it. If I can find my, you know, my skin type and stuff like that. Am I buffing? Oh, yes, I am buffing this a little bit. Oh. So who's still here, guys? Who's still here? Roll call. Usually I like to find out who's still here. So you can't change your character from a female to a male at all, or you can, honey. Ooh, I probably am, guys. I am. It's one of those nights because I don't know. I did take a nap, you know, because the kids are not here, and I really have much to do today. Even though that's not true, but. Um, I went to my bed, you know, ate breakfast this morning, got to my bed, laid down. I put some YouTube on and I went to sleep. I took a nap. My hubby called me like around 12 something. So he's the one that woke me up. And, um, from there on, I just stood up, but I took a nap. So, and I went to sleep early yesterday. So I really don't know why I'm so, so tired. Like, I'm telling you, ever since I got sick because of my son, like, I'm realizing my body is going through some real changes, you know, tired, sleepy, not remembering things, I get moody, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I know, I want to get a laptop, honestly, I do, because... What I have right now is just a computer, and if I wanted to edit a video and kind of like move around, I can't do it. I mean, honestly, you've seen the computer. It's this big bulky thing, and I don't feel like traveling everywhere, you know what I'm saying? Girl, you was up at 5, me at 5.30, so we're like... Almost in the same boat because I have to get my hubby up at that time. But I don't get up. I just stay in bed. I'd be like, <laughs> I try to sleep a half an hour more. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get in my half an hour more nap. And then I do try to sleep on a train too, but, you know, it's not that easy. It's okay. It's okay if it's a short video. Sometimes the short videos make more views for some reason. I noticed that. I mean, short in sense of like 10 minutes and short, but yeah. Oh, you, okay. You're talking about like the Google Live and you see all the people. Okay. A clock book. No, a cloud book. Oh. Oh, okay. It's kind of looking blurry to me. Whoa, 57 minutes. 57, wow. That's really short. That's like a Snapchat video. I think I've done that one time. You know what I understand? There's some times that I see a video of somebody on their um channel and it's like only 30 seconds long. And I'm like... I'll be wondering why they put that up 30 seconds. Just saying. And sometimes the 30 seconds makes no sense to me, but it's up there on the channel. <laughs> but at least it's your pictures. That's what I'm saying. I it's pictures that you took, you know.
<laughs> yeah, I think. Oh, you don't have no more videos or um, I don't have more videos. Uh, Hmm. Uh, yeah, because you're so busy just enjoying the moment. That's what happens. You know, you really want to like do more to remember that day. But when you're in that moment, you sometimes do forget to do a lot of things. You know, it has happened to me that, you know, there's events that I would love to record. And sometimes I record only like maybe five minutes of it and I forget that there's other stuff and you guys only see one part of it and it's just I'm like oh, I wish I would have recorded that or this you know and it's like oh yeah what did you buy God, I got some fat neck. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, you brought it. Okay, you brought it. Sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah, it happens. And I uh, trust me, I record everything to through my camera, and there's times that I do it too. Like I forget. Especially when it's a good shot and I just, I don't, I'm like, oh man, I couldn't remember that or, you know, but yeah. So. No, no. Set yourself up. Let's go. I don't want to throw that because I do not want to break it. Maybe this, because I won't break this. Yo, set the bed up. I, I got good aim, trust me. If I want to hit somebody in the head. <gasps> Did you have soda in that cup? Did you? Did you? Yeah. Don't touch the couch. Do not touch the couch. Get your butt up and mop that. Let's go. He was about to rub his head on that couch. Mama don't play that. Mama don't play that. No, no, no. So, yeah, guys. I'm going to be letting you guys go because I am tired. I just wanted to come here and show you what I got from Dollar Tree. You might have to watch the first 30 minutes of this video, Ja, to see what I got. I did it in the first 30 minutes, and then the rest was just me just blabbing and having a great time with you guys. Just, you know, just chatting, like always. Um, but I am tired, and I appreciate you guys showing your support here on this channel. Thank you for passing by. Again, subscribe, like, comment, and also remember to hit the bell so you don't miss a live of mine or when I do any other videos here because my channel, honestly, is a variety channel. I have, oh, what the, who else? That? I don't have a real, like, set goal if I want to be a beauty or whatever. I just like making videos that brings me joy, be it Dollar Tree hauls, um, Dollar General hauls, come along with me my vlogs, my unboxings. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can do some makeup because I really want to bring that to my channel and probably put it on a certain date, you know, just on one date of the week and be like consistent. Like I did Saturday, I mean, Friday chit chat. Now I got to choose another date. So, Ooh, excuse me. I'll definitely get some sleep, girl. I will, babe. I'll be going to sleep once I end this, jump in the shower, because right now I'm feeling really hot, so I'm going to jump in the shower, wash up, 
to cool my body, lay down, um, catch up on anybody who has videos. It's up, my video pick. Is it? Let me see. Because I didn't get no notification. See, this is what I'm talking about. YouTube playing themselves too much. You know? YouTube play too much. Okay, yeah, I see it now. I see it. I see it. Yeah. All right. So when I finish taking a shower, I will um, go and watch you guys' YouTube videos if you have anything up. I'll try to catch up on that today. If not, I'll catch up on tomorrow because, like I said, I got a whole lot of people I need to start checking because I got new um, friends that subscribe to my channel. So I'm going to check them out as well because, you know, we've been going back and forth, subscribing, liking, watching people's video. You know, we're working together to beat this YouTube new rule that they're making here. So, yeah. So I hope you guys have a blessing, beautiful night. Thank you once again for passing by and showing love to this channel. And yeah, so I hope everybody has a great weekend. Be safe. Don't do nothing that, you know, you're going to regret later in life. And hopefully I see you on the next live. Don't know if I'll do one anytime early this week. I mean, following week that's coming up. And I don't know if I'm going to do a live for my birthday. It's still up in the air. Just keeping, you know, your eyes and ears open for whatever happens. So thanks again, guys and girls. And have a great night, guys. See you next live. Bye.